Right, so uh, we're in the garage. Um, I'll try and make this nice and quick because um, it's really just a bit of a test. Um, what I've got is I've got um, two um, 24 volt sets of batteries connected together to get 48 volts. It's just over. Um, I've actually had to grab another um, 12 volt car battery and connect that in because the second um, lot, which is, or the second battery on here, is um, is dead so um, that's just kind of also feeding off a car battery which is just out of frame um, so each of these is 12 volts but they're in 24 volt packs and they've come out of a UPS so they're connected together through here that goes into the watt meter um, which pretty much goes into a, a little bit longer or well, a, a cable an 8 gauge cable that's way too long but I don't really want to cut it yet because I want to put it up on the wall and get things sorted before cutting things so yeah cable length is a bit um, over the top but that's okay um, what I've got is I've got it plugged in and turned on it's plugged directly into um, that watt meter that's um, which is here um, currently it's showing 6 watts um, it's currently idle doing nothing the battery is plugged in um, battery voltage is 50.1 volts um, it's showing that it's using what it says minus 34 watts so I'm not really too sure about that I've got the CT clamp over here, which pretty much just goes through a long cable um, or longish cable to the top of the inverter here and screws into the top. Um, and I've just got that round uh, um, a light bulb. This is a 60 watt light, light bulb, but you'll see that the CT clamp isn't measuring exactly correctly. Um, so I've got this around the, um, the phase of the um, light bulb. This is a great way for, t for testing. CT clamps is that you this is just an old extension cable so what I did was I cut it in half joined the um, the earth and the other wire and then I extended well I had this one here quite long um, the main phase wire and that's just got the CT clamp around it so while playing with the CT clamp for bits and pieces safety first so I always leave this turned off um, and what this is doing is it's just creating a, a load um, so that the CT clamp can pick it up and that way you can kind of, um, it's a controlled load because it's a 60 watt light bulb, it never changes. So it's a good way to kind of calibrate systems. Um, I used it while making um, a PV router, so a completely different project. But um, it's going to work perfectly since I'm out in the garage and the main switchboard for the house that the CT clamp technically needs to go around um, is about 35 or about 30 meters away, or about yeah, 25 to 30 meters away. So for right now, to just get this test going, um, now of course I could just turn off the limiter um, the problem with doing that is it's just going to ramp up as hard as it can um, and drain the batteries and because there's not much of a difference the minimum voltage that this needs is 45 volts and currently it's sitting at 50 volts the watt meter over there is reading something a little bit different um, the voltage is out on that when I put a multimeter across it uh, it's different so I find that the watt meter voltage is low, um, lower than the multimeter would read it. Um, this is reading as 50.1, and this is reading it as 50.55. Um, that's not much of a difference, which is good. But um, so this is cold. The watt meter is a bit warm. Um, I've had it plugged in for about 10 minutes and just playing around before I got this video going. Um, just testing things were actually going to work. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just um, I'll just pause the video as this plane flies over. Right. So I've just connected in a multimeter. Uh, I'll just zoom in on the rest of the bits and pieces because we don't really need to see the batteries anymore. Um, let's just see if I can kind of get these three things kind of in focus for you. Um, Every time the camera drops down. <laughs> right, okay, so let's turn it on. So the easiest way to do that is um, just turn the switch on here. So the light comes on, it's a, it's a load across the CT. As you see, the output is going up to four, 144, 147. Um, our voltage drop on our batteries is down to, um, the batteries are crap, so um, they've come down to 4.7 under load, or 47 under load. Um, this watt meter here is reading 220 watts. Um, it's about 30 watts difference between 
here and what this is saying um, 266 266 well it's not too bad um, that calls me a bit of a liar it's actually following each other now which is good 257 and 250 roughly um, mind you the voltage is kind of dropping a little bit there um, what I've got here which I'll kind of put in frame is I think that's in frame no um, the top value in this number here is um, 21 watts. The next value is how much solar we're actually making on the main house. Um, so if we look at this 29 watts here, if I turn this off, this should go up 60 watts. So what what this part here is, is that the, um, so this is the load of the house, this is the solar, I'm oh, sorry, this, this is the, this is the solar, this is the load of the house, and that one there is the voltage, so let's not worry about the bottom one. The load of the house um, minus the solar is what we're pulling from the grid, so the top one is, is the grid, um, without confusing myself. So the house is using two, uh, well the, the house is using 390 watts, so that's, I've got everything kind of turned off inside, well most things that I can kind of control right now. Um, so 250 watts that we're pulling from the grid, 230 watts we're pulling from the grid. So if I turn this on, what we're pulling from the grid, because we're pushing power back out again, that top number should decrease. Which it is, 94. 73 so obviously needing to pull less and less from the grid so um, 92 so bottom one's our house load house load minus the solar minus what this is pulling and pushing out is um, what we're buying from the grid which is 44 watts right now because this is now at 185 um, which is actually in line with this to be honest um, 176 if I turn this off again we should then buy more power from the grid, obviously. Um, in a second. This should jump back up to 200. Yep, 183. So, uh, grid tie um, is working well. It's kind of working as expected. The only thing that's not working, uh, well, that's not 100% perfect, is obviously, um, I just can't exactly remember what wattage light bulb this is now. Um, let me have a quick look. It's a 40. So this is a 40 watt just basic cheap light bulb so we should actually be seeing 40 watts um, push back out not a hundred and something um, so yeah the um, the CT clamp could do with some uh, some do with some calibration but all in all um, it appears to be working um, so if we just have a quick zoom, 53, we'll just do a quick bit of a close up on this, you know the camera's slowly going down, <laughs> um, so we're still using 109 watts, 105 watts, I'll just move the screen so it doesn't go off, turn the light off, then obviously we're going to start needing to use more power from the grid 177 it's going up next number should be 200 and something 190 so that's really good um, yeah 232 so that at least tests it it does work it is fully functional um, what I'll do is why not just um, I'll just take that off and we'll just turn off the limiter and we'll just kind of see what actually happens since we might just waste a bit of battery um, if I figure out how to turn it off again right off save setting right let's see what happens It should go up to 300 or 400 watts and then it should just kind of 
because we're only the voltage has dropped down to 46 volts. So as you see, the limiter is off because this light bulb's off and it's still putting out power. Um, I wonder if I can actually get the watt meter in the <coughs> zoom. So that's 141 watts. The watt meter is reading 155, 160. As the voltage drops, it's, it's obviously trying. It's struggling to. So this is saying 1.4 amps currently. 1.4 amps to get 50 watts. The watt meter is actually a bit of a problem. Um, what I'll do is I'll just pull out that watt meter and we'll just have a look. Um, so always to shut a grid tie inverter off, always turn the AC off first. Um, so I'll just turn this off for a sec, move things around. So I've put it up on the wall um, and put the multimeter on top, connected it up. Um, currently, um, yeah, 249. Um, the voltage on the batteries has dropped again back down to 46 volts. Um, these batteries I've got here are absolute crap. Um, these ones there. So um, what I'll do is I will um, continue kind of mounting things and setting things up. Um, and we really need to get our proper batteries, uh, 18650s up and going. Um, but it's um, it is definitely working. Um, and yeah fairly happy with that. Um, so what it's currently doing is I've just I've just turned the limiter off. Oops, there we go. Wasn't even focusing. Um, I've turned the limiter off and its minimum voltage is 46 or 45 volts. So with it being 46 volts now, um, then it, it's pretty much at the very bottom of its of its limit. Uh, 45 volts is its cutoff. So it's turning 46 volts into 200 watts roughly. Um, but yeah, until we get that voltage up to where it needs to, where it needs to be, um, it's not going to really do too much more. Um, so yeah, I'll call that quits for today. Um, that's a bit of an update. Um, I'm glad it's kind of up and running, um, and I'll kind of tidy up all these these wires and bits and pieces. So um, yeah, I'll um, catch you guys next time.